All right, so I'm gonna do this with the video review so I can give you uh, specific notes here. But looking at what you wrote me in the email, you added poses to the stumble and also more at the, at the beginning. Let me bring down the volume a little bit here. So again, I mean, this is looking still really good. I do see, I mean, you mentioned that you didn't get to all the notes, because I do see a lot of the similar things. Hey, sports! So, I would say, try to hit those notes. It's still, still all the same, especially with the, you know, with um, the tangents here, as you go down, give it, give this guy a lot more room. But, the main thing I want to comment on for this clip is the stumble. So, so far so good. This is all good, right? So as you continue, it's really important, more so than detail stuff, is to work on your post changes when you have something from here to here, which is a huge change in posing. So that over one frame is a crazy change. So things like that through steps, I will work on first before getting to other things because it can be very misleading where it looks cool in step mode. So you got just your, your key poses, but once you start splining, it might be weird, and you might not add enough enough uh, frames between the poses. Same thing here. This is very, very big, change-wise. Uh, then careful, it looks like he's kind of touching his head at that point. So you might have to adjust the pose back or, or move him a bit overall, which might impact your, your kicking point. But again, this is fairly big. You're going to have to need a couple in-betweens on, on that guy, between those poses. Same thing here, you're still forming the tangent there. That one is, again, a massive, massive post change. That I can kind of buy only because it's a big impact. It's still big, it's a, it's almost a pop, but as you continue on, you can have that definitely more impactful. But foot-wise, I would actually leave one of the feet back there, so it's a bit more something like this. It's a massive um, shoe there. But you know, something where it's not everything moving backwards but then you got again this guy coming out here um, that's fairly big what's a bit confusing about the post changes here is that you got this line and I go back and it's the same line so if you look at your it's the left arm and then at this point it's the right arm but it's all kind of on the same line and then you look at here if I go back and forth it feels like a sticky point in your in your fist so as you continue on with your poses you want to change it up a tiny bit that is definitely a big, big change from here to here. So, and that is massive. That's gonna take a couple frames. You're gonna have to make sure that he starts moving back to give um, that area of the arm intersect, uh, interesting, like overlapping with the head, a bit more room, breathing room. That is obviously fast one, and that's massive too. So it's again, it's still all good, but you still have a lot of step poses in there. This feels better. Right here, this section I buy more up until you get to this change here. Because at this point it feels like he is being pulled back. Again, because you don't have enough breakdowns in your in your step mode here. And it's not him falling backwards through gravity because he's he's off balance here and it's the head that kind of pulls him back. So again, that is still a bit fast. Shapapoom there. And even him moving forward from here to here. All that needs more breakdowns. So I would highly recommend to go keep keep going in there. If possible, address the notes that I gave last time. But really start going and and adding go in there and add more frames for your steps up. Same thing from, from here, this guy to here. It's a massive post change over one frame. So all that stuff is gonna have to change. Same thing with this. Especially Going from here to here, the timing of that is also gonna is going to tell us more about his character and how his demeanor, his emotions. Like, how does he feel? How arrogant does he feel? How much pleasure does he take in in hitting that pose? So, it's timing is really important to go between poses. All right, I think that is that for this shot. Let me pause this and bring up your other shot. All right, we are back. But if you did teach me this guy, up. put on the volume a tiny bit. So you mentioned you worked on the. Let me actually take your notes. Those IK arms and lip sync. Let me check. 
And I'm back. Yes, IK arms and lip sync. And I think you, IK arms are a lot better. So that is fantastic work. I think that's really, really cool. And we can go one by one. Let's look at, at um, this arm first. Let's go through this. But if you did teach, it would be steady income. Don't be disgusted. Silence here as I'm watching this. But I think it's all working really well so far until you get to this section right here. So watch out where you have elbow stuff is a real pain to lock. So sections like here, that I can kind of give, but at this point you start moving forwards. I mean forward being a screen right a tiny bit. And then back in, you're going back and you're intersecting with this. And then let's go back here. Those women were into what? This is a tiny, tiny, tiny bit it's like K because you got it's a fairly straight line that this wrist travels. And I know there's not that much you can do in terms of that guy going back in this line. That's fine, but you could at least arc the wrist a bit more. If it's not so straight. Women were into us. Watch out for your wrist. Those women were into us. That section here. He goes down down with your wrist and then he goes back up into that and that in real time feels a bit poppy Those women were Boop -boop. Into us. it's a bit of a pop I think I will go to here. that's too much like split the difference or or even up further than this and then go back into that so it's basically you're a bit low like this and then as he as he pushes here and it's, it's the tension in the body as he readjusts that will you will show tension in this in this fist by you can squeeze those fingers in a bit more. Feel free to intersect your fingers, that's fine. This is a bit more round, a bit smaller shape. And because of that that tension, it will also bring the wrist up the way you have it into here. Us, because we were artists. Careful here, this is still IK. When you look at that section here, while this section moves, see how the fist is completely still. There's no pixel moving. So the moment you got something that locked, it's obviously IK. And on top of that, you got the elbow moving. And then you got here. That you can give. But here. It's good that you have a rotation this way. But you're going to have to go a bit further. And you're not finishing it either. So you're going this way from here to here. But then on that frame down, you go back this way. So that in real time feels a bit like a pop. And looking at the spacing. If I look at just this section here. It's down, down, it's kind of around the same height, and bam, you go up here, and that's a linear key. At least it feels like a linear key. So that, you could just ease into that, or ease out of that pose a bit more. That stuff is good. Because we were Holding honest. up here. And then reality hits, and it's no fine. money, and no real future, and then, you know, let's... And that's great. I think once you have, as a general body thing, once you hit that pose, you have still business going on here right but everything else here is completely frozen so as you continue on with your passes once he does that you can put his hand here it will affect the knees the knees will move a bit you can adjust the fingers a bit that's going to go in a bit more you might have a bit more of a lean over there that brings up this elbow that will change a bit the relationship with this arm and, and the hand just a bit more keep, keep alive as you go into the ending here if I look at the other arm, that, careful, you got this section moving. If I scrub fast, it's always a good test to scrub fast. And then this section is not moving at all. So even as you do this, you're going to have to have a little bit of an adjustment and bring your wrist down. So it's not so totally locked. Same thing on the down. Don't be disgusted. That feels fine. Um, you know, if you want to be super picky, this is fairly straight. I think you could even here pretend that he's following the line of his thigh so that it's, it w I'm exaggerating here, but it's not that straight, but has a slight curve. Then careful here, again, this section moves while the wrist is not. So that is your IK telltale sign here. Let's continue on. Same thing here elbow goes up here at this point you would already have to have some movement in your wrist going down a bit see how this plays in real time Those women were that seems fine there's something funky it starts great and right at the end this section here 
suddenly feels fast. And then you hit this here. You go from here to here. And it's a small one straight down and it comes to a stop. It's it's not crazy bad. I'm not saying bad bad, but it's not crazy IK telltale sign bad, but Those women were there's just something which is just a tad fast. Those women were into us. And I'm talking about maybe two frames. Just really something really Those women were into subtle to get Those women were into that us. place. And what doesn't help is this section here where you have rotation in your fingers to grasp this thing. But while this rotates, nothing going on is in the, in the upper part of the wrist. So as you clench, you can add already a rotation in your wrist and continue it as you do a move here in this section. Right, you move, but no nothing is moving in the wrist. And that's a big one too. You got big elbow moving back. And then you start doing this, which is fine. The only thing I would do is keep this, what you have in, in this part. But then have a bit less in the fingers. Not that they have to be super locked. But, you know, you have this thing coming out here. And it feels like you bring your fingers in to kind of grasp that section. So even if you have this movement here, you would feel like this finger would almost stay in the same spot. Just so you can feel that he's really holding on to that piece. To us because we were artists. This feels a bit linear -y. So you got this move down, right? Looking at this, going this way. Nothing's moving on, moving here, going on there. And then you got that linear key again. So you go from here, right? Previous frame is here. Same thing. Bam! That's really big. So you're going to have to go from here to here to maybe here into whatever move you have here. So watch out for your ease out of there in it's linear mode. And then That's fine. Hit. Right. And no money and no real future and then you know <laughs> and everything is great up until this section watch out you got a little intersection here and then you get back to the IK where this guy take this off this guy here is going down so the elbow part is going down right here while nothing is going on in this section and I'm not talking finger curl change but a bit more in your upper part of the wrist All right. And I'm looking at your lip sync. Don't be disgusting. Those women were into. What I would do for your next pass in your lip sync, I think all the ideas are there. It's just moments like here. It feels very flat. Like the lips feel very flat. Same thing here. This feels very symmetrical. There's a little bit of a change here. It seems like, but it's still. Overall feels very symmetrical. Those were even changes like that feel almost like you just open the jaw a little bit and then left the shapes. They just feel the lips feel very flat. Those women were into. It's good you got some arcs in your corners there. Just be careful how you hit that pose. You go up here and it kind of hits. I'm looking at this line here, goes up here, here, and then go back down. And that is kind of a, it's a very linear change of direction. Those women were into us. So that in real time feels a bit harsh. I think you can soften your jaw moving a bit. And then watch out where you got the, the corner out move into the in, but it's all straight. So on sections like this, you could have a little arc down. Into us because we were artists, and then because we were artists, and it's fine. And then reality hits. This was a bit swingy. Us because we were artists. The sink. And then reality hits. And then reality. Because we were artists. And then reality hits. Just the reality. I want to feel a bit bigger on real. Just you're gonna push those poses a bit. And then reality hit. Like I don't feel the re. And then reality. That's your re moment. And I think in re, e, you can bring up those lips a bit higher. Not like a crazy sneer, but it's a bit higher. Reality hits. And no. Reality hits. And, and watch out how you hit. Like the corners feel like they're going out, but then back the same way. Instead of out 
and into an arc into another pose and no money and no real future and then you know but <laughs> that is also a bit out of sync it's and no money and no real future and then no real future it feels a bit mushy and no money and no real future and then you know but <laughs> and then the you know feels a bit late and no money and no real future and then you know but <laughs> do you know so just this right there feels late You know, but you know, but your exhale there. You know, but feels pretty good. I think you might just push it a bit more, where you like this, but you have a moment where these lips come apart just a tiny bit to really feel like he's doing making that sound. Not by much. Like even like just a sliver like this would help. And that is it. Lots of notes. Um, I will concentrate on that first. But it's it's already a really good shot. I'm being picky here about especially IK stuff. It's very important to me that IK things are hidden. Um, because you don't you don't want to have awesome things going on in the pose and everything, and then you got IK arms that stand out, and you're going ah, can't do the technical aspects of IK arms. <laughs> love love the. I know it's just low res, and that's why that's what the costume looks like. It cracks me up. It's dressed like that, like a funny Halloween costume or something. All right. Well, that is it. Let me know if this works for you in terms of critique uh, or it feels weird or you can't understand my accent or anything. It's just fishy. Let me know. I'm always open to uh, feedback. All righty. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.